Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, this is one of the better systematic theologies, maybe the best selling systematic theology. And recently, a second edition, now thoroughly revised and expanded for the first time. Now, I will say, maybe it's because God gave me kind of like a numbers brain. I really get into numbers. But systematic theologies through the years have really helped me. It's just a way for me to learn. And of course, Wayne Gruden and I would have differences of opinion, pretty substantial, on some areas of biblical doctrine. You know, we would believe Jesus was God, Jesus died on the cross, Jesus rose again. We'd have a lot of similarities as well in doctrine, but a lot of substantial dif uh, differences. So this comes from Zondervan Academic. We'll take a look how many pages. Let's take a look inside here. So Wayne Grudem is Distinguished Research Professor of Theology of Biblical Studies at Phoenix Seminary in Phoenix, Arizona. He holds degrees from Harvard, Westminster, and Cambridge. He's the author of more than 25 books, including biblical doctrine and Christian beliefs. A lot of John Piper, Jack Deere, Holy Ghost Field guy there at Dallas Theological, Sam Storms, John Frame. We need more systematic theologies, not fewer, but for now, fewer Grudem systematic theology is best. Of course, Frame just came out with one too. But a uh, lot of people have uh, said they like this. I'm mean, Vern Poitras. These are all the pages of people who said, yep, we like this. Ray Ortland, CJ Mahaney. I was wondering if that was uh, Mahaney. He used to preach in the UPC. Dr. Sharon James, social policy and analyst, Christian Institute, UK author and speaker. I'm trying to see what year this came out. Yeah, so it was just updated in 2020. A. Kenneth Ham, my Baptist pastor who awakened in me a love for systematic theology by teaching a class on Christian doctrine when I was 13 years old. I wonder if uh, Ken Ham, uh, you know, the guy with answers in Genesis. I don't know. But let me just show you. I'll just show you how it's set up. And this is the appendix. And then we'll go to some actual pages. We'll try to remember to say how uh, many um, pages, end notes, reference works. So this is thoroughly revised. Over three quarters of a million copies sold. So it's fairly popular, as you can see. But so been trying to come out with a uh, really a apostolic uh, systematic theology. I know there's a couple guys have just done a Pentecostal one, but I think they're Assembly of God, maybe Church of God. And then like Finest Dake, his God's Plan for Man is some type of, of uh, systematic theology. And then Brother Enzi's come out with like a handbook, and then Brother Bernard kind of hits all around it, but no just just this. Okay. How's it Chris Harrington, the worship leader at Illuminate Church in Scottsdale. Uh, 57 worship songs fit the themes, 57 chapters. That's good. Illuminate Church. So uh, here's kind of how it, it comes out. And, you know, just statement of fact and then uh, something. And, and a lot of this goes back to like your old catechisms, your like your Westminster Catechism and these type things. I knew like um, Brother Latta, my pastor, always said we need a Pentecostal Catechism. And I never could figure out exactly what he meant. Now, I've got Brother Coon's book around here sometime, 82 Lessons. That's really good. We'll see. This thing looks so quality made. They're making things so quality now show you another page here but this is a big book this is not a small book if you go walking in church with this they're gonna know you are serious as my old pastor used to tell me eat the food and spit out the sticks so fuller analysis of recent debates such as those involving the Trinity and the miraculous gifts of the Holy Spirit yeah see you've got that you Trinity's had some controversy. 
So, uh, historic confessions of faith, salvation. So, the whole deal is 1,586 pages. That's where we're at. Has an author index, a subject index. Excuse me, my nose is itching. A scripture index. You'll see the, the amount of scriptures he uses. This is just one small portion of the New Testament. And you can see how many scriptures he uses here. So quite a few. Quite a few. I mean, I'm still in scriptures he used. Let's see how big that scripture index is. It is big. Let's see how big. I'm still going. 1562 to 50. So 31 pages, 32 pages. Him and contemporary worship song index. I just noticed word of knowledge. So definitions. It's got that back here. So, historical confessions of faith, uh, the new heavens and the new earth. I'm not sure. I don't know how conservative he is and all that. I don't know if he's like pre-trib, mid-trib, post-trib, ah mill, post mill, whatever he is, preterist. I don't know. I was thinking he's real conservative in that, but I could be totally wrong. But uh, updated bibliographies there you go a lot of times in a book like this you can get more from the bibliographies than anything else so here we are the classic bestseller systematic theology second edition introduction to biblical doctrine so you know people who study those type things that's just a good reference work sunday school teacher um any number of people would benefit from this. Just people who like to read the Bible. Again, eat the food, spit out the sticks. I wouldn't uh, take everything he says wholeheartedly as gospel. I'd take that out of the Bible. So God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.